Alright, and welcome to part number four of the Unturned Let's Play. Now you're probably wondering why I'm a, why am I over in Confederation Bridge? Um, I actually started to record part number four like ten minutes ago, and I went over there to go get the achievement, because I haven't gotten it yet, to go to the end of Confederation Bridge, and um it didn't record my voice. So on the screen right now, I'm basically gonna show you what happened all in fast motion. The only thing that happened is that I drove over here and I found on top of the tank a rucksack. I'm not kidding you, a freaking rucksack. I'm so lucky. Um, and then that's all I found. I found some other random gear, I'm pretty sure, somewhere along the way. But yeah, basically I found a rucksack and I have it on my back right now. And now we have all this extra space, all this extra stuff down at the bottom. And this will be extremely useful for when we are building our base because we're going to have to, or we're able to take less trips between the trees and my house and that'll be even more so useful because the votes are in we are building our house on the St. Peter's Island which is the I'll show it right here it is that island right there and it has the helicopter crash on that and as you can see it's in the middle of the map and it's extremely useful to build there because you can build quick bridges to all the major locations so you can just kind of build a bridge to Alberton, build a bridge to Fernwood Farm, build a bridge to Montague, build a bridge to uh, Berrywood, all that stuff and it's a, just a quick drive over there so it's a super nice place to build and that's where we're gonna build it but the problem is is that when we're starting off it's gonna be difficult to build because there aren't very many trees on St. Peter's Island so we're gonna have to get trees from the mainland and luckily, since we have a rucksack, we'll be able to take lots of wood between trips. But once we get our house started, we'll be able to build a bridge, and then we'll be able to drive back and forth, and that'll make the process easier. But uh, let's head on over there, shall we? Um, what do I have? Uh, yeah, I have my axe. I'll do that. And um, I did respawn um, to go check the footage, so the stuff did respawn here. So I might be able to find some new gear. Come on. So, um, nothing. Anything? <gasps> Ooh, another one of these lever actions. All right, come here. Let me hit you in the face. Eh, eh. There we go. And um, we will take the ammo from this. Just take those out. There we go. Then we can just drop it now because we have our other one. There we go. Good to go. Do I have it loaded in there? Yeah. Don't know what it is, if it's slug or shells, but what's in here? A note. Okay. Yeah. I, I say whenever we find a note, we'd best be putting a message on it. Here, you know what we could do? Whenever we find a note, we write down what part we found it in. So part four is where we found that note. Then, um, oops. Ah, that didn't work. <laughs> Alright. Uh, yep, we don't need any more backpacks. Unless it's an Alice pack, well, that's something worth picking up. But Oh, found another note. Better put that on. Four. Part four. Good to go. Um, nothing, 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 nothing. Uh, is there anything on that tank? That's where I found the rucksack last time. And I think I saw a work line. That might be worth it to pick up. Um, I'll kill these guys. I'll just kill everyone, and then and then we'll go off and find all the gear. Well, oh my gosh, die! All right, good thing I got this torch. Ooh, a military helmet. I'll take that. Well, I do, I do look kind of ugly. Wait, I'm gonna kill this guy and see how I look. Oh yeah, I look stupid. Yeah, we're not doing that anymore. Where where are these zombie crawls coming from? I'm hearing zombie growls. Oh, you're stuck right there. Shilly. Shilly, you. Come here. There we go. Ah, oh, great. You saw me, too. Good to go. Cloth. We can always take that. And we can turn that into cloth. I think we do have a pretty good supply of cloth going on here. Or some bandages. Or maybe I don't. I've always been using them, I guess. Alright, well we have that. Oh, I should probably drink that and have the potato chips. By the way, some person asked last uh, part 
um, control click is how you automatically equip something. If you just control click it, it'll automatically equip it. You don't need to click it and then press equip. Save some time. Do we already? I think we already have a handsaw. Or do we? No, yeah, we already have one. Alright, yeah, I can drop that. And uh, what's over here? Work light. There we go. Uh, those are very useful. I guess I could really make some braziers. Ooh, MRE. That's useful. Alright. Guess we're not going to eat any food um, for now and on. And now let's head on over to the St. Peter's Island or whatever that place is. And then we'll cut down the trees there and we'll make some, some crates. And, um, well, we're going to have to... Yeah, we're, we're going to have to build the house first, then put the crates in it. So I'll just put down, I'll just lay down the foundation, and then I'll, um, I'll, uh, put the crates in it. That should be good. Die, there we go. Lots of meat, om nom nom. Oh yeah, I can take the cloth too. Or whatever, pelt. And I don't really care too much for a van, so I'll just throw this in the in the water so another one can respawn. So where is that's St. Peter's Island? Let's go over there. Guess I probably should have drove to Alberton first. Oh uh, whatever, we'll start going over there now. Oh and I think I have some skills. Um tab. No, you can't access it while you're in the water. We'll access it when we get there. Almost there and there we go, finally. And, um, I'm going to go kill all the guys at the plane crash, and then we'll move on to actually cutting down the trees. So, just head on right over here. Hi there, buddies. How you doing? Die, come on. Die. There we go. Oh, camouflaged. He was actually really camouflaged. And, uh, nothing. That was just shadow. You can die. Ooh, found some army fatigues. That's making us closer to looking more military -y. And we'll drop that helmet because it's ugly. And we will turn this into cloth. And that into that. And now we got two of those. And we'll turn that into hospital rag or bandage. And should be good. And what is this? A beret? No, I don't really want that. An attachment. Very nice. Bolts, we can use that because we got shells. And anything flashlight, anything. Oh, where did you come from? Oh my gosh. They didn't make a single growl. Alright. Killed them. Back to searching for gear. Sandbags, that's useful. And ooh, another attachment. This is attachments galore. And I don't think anything spawns up top, but yeah, I guess we can get an overhead view. Ooh, what's that? Seriously, I broke my freaking legs from that fall. Oh my gosh. Alright, whatever. Well, we have two flash hiders. Not sure why we would really use both of them. I do have my gun. Can I put anything on these? No. Well, I can put a bipod on it, because that makes complete sense. <laughs> I'll just take that off. Well, no, I'll put it on so I can have an extra attachment slot, or an extra slot to put stuff while we're building but now that we got that let's start putting down some foundations away from this area because zombies will spawn here and eventually when we get super advanced we'll line this place with barbed wire or barbed fences and then the zombies won't be able to kill us and then maybe we'll put like a door or something so that way like every time we spawn in we can go in here and see if we can find anything PDW magazine. I don't really like that gun, to be honest with you, so I'm not going to take that. But let's start cutting down the trees, shall we? What is... I started sliding backwards for no reason. There we go. And I guess I don't really need to worry about sticks too much, because we have the handsaw. Um, but how do I make a foundation? I'm pretty sure that's just three frames. If I'm correct, so we'll take two of those. That goes into that and that. Yep, foundation. We got one. <laughs> it's going to take a lot to make some bridges, but once they're done, it's going to be amazing. So, 
Um, I think I'm going to make the house closest to Alberton, because I think that's the most useful town of all of all the towns. Well, Berrywood is up there as well. No, Charlottetown. Charlottetown takes the cake. Um, so I think I'm going to build it on the water. Like a, a, I'm going to build it out here in this little cove, but it's still going to be attached to this island. So that'll be useful. So I'll just kind of put it there. And this will be the front entrance. And then the next foundation that I'll put down will be the houses, the actual part of the house. All right, we cut down a few more trees. So we'll just take that. Bada bing, bada boom. We got two foundations now. Well, first let's put this down real quick. like that. And we got that. We'll equip those foundations, put one there, and we'll build one. Let's just do it out one more again. And now we shall build some crates. And these take, I believe, some wooden crosses and frames. I don't know how many of each though. So drop those temporarily because we're kind of running low on space. I think it's like three wooden frames and one cross. I think so. Ah, uh, you know what I just realized? It's because I don't have my crafting skill up. So, crafting, 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 craftsman. And luckily I do have enough skills to where we can get that started. So now, take that and that and we have our wooden crate, finally. Good thing I didn't end up getting a bunch of useless crap just to find out that it wasn't useful at all. Um, and we'll just plop that down. Even though we have one, that'll take away four slots from our inventory to leave more room for actual building stuff. So we will take, um, we'll take the bullets and the military bullets, the duct tape, and those. Why not? Eventually we'll organize those, but. I'll pick up this extra stuff that I dropped for room. There we go. But I'm going to have to call it there for part number four of the Unturned Let's Play. Uh, first thing on part number five that I'm probably going to need to do is get some food. I mean, I have an MRE, which will keep me safe. I know I'm at 50, whatever, for uh, my hunger and thirst. But my MRE refills 80% of both at the same time. So I'm going to wait until those go up to 80%. But after I'm done with that... I'm going to be living off canned ham and nothing else. So after this, we're going to have to go over to the botanist shop in Alberton to get some seeds and we'll begin making our farm. And then we're going to have to find a canteen and that's basically just luck. So that'll be a challenge. But it is now just ending the day. So that was a pretty good day, I'd say myself. Got our house started and found some pretty good useful supplies for our guns. But thank you guys for watching part number four and I'll see you guys in the next one.